Excuse me? Is she, is she okay? The doctors are still working on her. Derek. Oh, my God. I've been worried out of my mind. Hey, are you hey, okay? Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. I'm good. Who's Kyle? The next door is watching him. What happened? Sharon. Mr. Charles. How are you doing? My name is Monica Reese. I'm the investigating detective. Detective? Yeah. Um, this is my wife, Sharon. She just got here. So you haven't told her? Tell me what. Would you prefer to talk to me in private? In private? What's happening, Derek? It's okay. Please. We can talk. I've gone over the initial statement you gave to the police on the scene. I just need to clarify a few things, okay? Let's sit down. Detective Reese, 0, 0300 hours, January 15th. This young woman, Lisa Sheridan, she works in your office. Lisa, the tip? What happened to her? Yeah, she tried to hurt herself. Why? What? Well, what, what did she do? Mrs. Charles, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I need to get the story in your husband's own words. Apparently, so do I. Mr. Charles, this Lisa Sheridan. Yeah, she worked with us two weeks. What, what are you saying? You, you've only known her for two weeks? Approximately two weeks. Long enough for her to fantasize that you two were having an affair? What? No. No. She came on to me at the Christmas party, and then uh, in the parking garage, and then she showed up at the ret retreat at my hotel, and I rejected her. And when, I told and, excuse I was me, married. and when you rejected her, she tried to commit suicide naked in your bed in your hotel room. Whoa, she was naked in your bed, Derek. Uh, Mrs. Charles, Mrs. She Charles, she was please. naked in your hotel she, room. Please, Mr. Charles, would you say this affair there was, was no affair? Okay, there was no affair. So you're saying she made the whole thing up in her head with no help from you? That is exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think she'd pick you? I don't know. Maybe I said something that she took the wrong way, oh, baby. Like no, what? come on. Like what? Derek, Sharon. Tell me. What exactly Mrs. did you Charles, say that she took the wrong you. way, I'm Derek? Stop, to ask Sharon. You to no, no, she's not going anywhere. I didn't say anything to her. I did not lead her on. And you had no idea that she'd be at the hotel? No, I don't even know how she got in my room. She had told the hotel clerk that she was your wife and she wanted to surprise you. No, I have she, nothing Sharon, to hold say on. to you. Right, did you have sex with her? No, I did not. I had sex with her. Sharon, come on. I need for you and I not to fall apart right now. Mr. Charles. Hold on. Please. Look, I don't care if you're doing this girl or not. I I'm just... not doing this girl, okay? You never have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Detective? It's the doctor. I'll be right back. <sighs> Sharon, I swear to God, this is just a, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding. A girl tries to kill herself because of you. It's just a misunderstanding. Sharon. Do you really think I'm going to believe that bullshit? Do you believe me? No, I don't believe you. Sharon, you didn't even call me. your Stop. son back. Hey. As soon as they pumped her out in time, probably tomorrow, they'll take her out of the ICU and take her up to the fifth floor for psychiatric evaluation. That's great she news. Stands. Okay, great. She was lucid enough to give a name to the doctor in case of emergencies. You still want to stick to your story? 